Moving your body to music, in a word, dance, is one of the most natural human responses to music. Subtle changes in groove can result in huge changes in the way that people dance to music. So understanding the different grooves, rhythms, of dance music is a key to understanding all of the music that you hear around you. Today we'll look at a Baroque dance form called the Beret. This is the music of the Baroque era, which flourished 400 years ago in Europe. It was composed by Johann Sebastian Bach, who integrated Baroque dance forms into his instrumental music. The ballerina is dancing in a modern ballet style, which is a direct descendant of the dance styles that were developed in the court of Louis XIV in France. The Bach cello suites are some of the most celebrated music of all time. This is partly because of the way Bach creates the impression of many different instruments using only one cello. He does this by using the huge range of the instrument, hitting high and low notes so close together. Bach also uses lots of different notes. If you played this piece on the piano, you'd be using all of the white and black keys. This is called being chromatic. Bach's highly chromatic style results in a very rich sound world. What's amazing is the way that Bach animates this complex sound world over a very simple dance form. In this case, it's the bourree, which was developed in the court of Louis XIV. Louis XIV was the king of France over 400 years ago, and during his reign of 72 years, he created the predecessor to modern ballet. He was a lover of dance and actually danced himself, 80 roles in over 40 ballets. Imagine a president or prime minister doing that today. To entertain his court, Louis XIV developed the Académie de Danse, which is the predecessor to modern ballet. The noblemen of his court needed to learn a whole system of dances, and these were used both in court and in theatrical performances. An elaborate system of dances was developed that all the court were expected to master. Knowing the difference between a bourree and a gavotte, for example, might be the difference between Louis XIV liking you and not. What defines a bourree? It's the same thing that defines any dance, the rhythm. In the case of the bourree, it's like a march. There's one long and two short pulses, often beginning with a short pickup. Look at how different the bourree's rhythm is to the gavotte's. This is intentional. Louis XIV wanted to challenge his court to master all the subtle differences between the dances in the Baroque era. The same principle is at work in the music all around us. Over the centuries, dance music has played a key role in the development of all music, from instrumental music to even church music. So the more you can understand the way that dance music works, the better that you can understand the way that all music works.